What's up guys? We are on our way to get our blood test done. We're gonna get our blood drawn. I'm sorry, I didn't get a video made Thursday or Friday. I did do a lot of filming Thursday uh, at the turkey trot. Didn't get it put together. It was really short. We got a lot of short footage. Friday we ended up not going shooting because the shooting, the gun range was closed. So that didn't work out at all in our favor. So I didn't film that and that was really what I wanted to make a video with were those two things. So I was going to put them together in one video, but it didn't work out that way. So what we've got going on Today, if you saw Wednesday, I paid for my blood test to get that taken care of, and now we're on our way to get it done. So, the rules of the blood test are that you shouldn't work out within three days of getting your blood test, and then you should also be fasted, nine to 12 hours fasted, before you get your blood test. That means don't eat anything nine to 12 hours before your test. You can drink water. Keep drinking plenty of water though, because if you are dehydrated, it's going to skew your numbers, especially for your kidneys. Now I've got my paperwork printed out. We are going to go to Quest Diagnostics and get this taken care of. It is 9.30 a.m. We ate last night at 9 p.m., so I am 12 hours fasted. I have had lots of water this morning, and I haven't worked out since Wednesday of last... No, I didn't work out Wednesday. I haven't worked out since Tuesday of last week, so um, I'm definitely not going to have any sort of altered... Yeah, we are ready to go. All Starting right. route to Quest Diagnostics. Proceed to North Southport Avenue. Here we then go. Then turn right. Doing my blood test, my blood draw for my blood test today, and then at 12... 30, I'm giving blood, giving whole blood, um, at, I go to the life source that is near where I live, it's, uh, it's kind of right by where I work actually, so I'm going to go there at 1230, give blood, and then I've got a client to train at 2. Turn right onto North Southport Avenue. So we're going to take care of all of that at that time and I give blood to help uh, help reduce my blood pressure help turn left onto keep West my Street. hemoglobin down because when you're doing what I'm doing your body is making red blood cells at an accelerated rate so you kind of have to stay on top of that and you can do that by either giving blood regularly or you need Turn to right be... onto North. Oh, Jesus Christ. Walked right out in fucking front of me. You can take, uh... Shit, I can't remember the name of it. You can take a pill that chelates iron, which helps lower your iron levels, and in turn helps lower your hemoglobin. Um... I'm blanking on what that's called though, so I apologize, I'll write it down below. So that's what's going on today. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to go about doing all of this, so you have a good idea of simply how easy it is. It is just, it's so simple, guys. Watch Wednesday's video, I'll show you exactly how to purchase your blood test. None of this is through a doctor, none of this is through insurance, none of this goes on your record. So if you're scared of getting terrible numbers, this is the way to do it, you know, so that your doctor isn't giving you shit about, you know, having having bad numbers come back, you know, because that's, sadly, that's the big problem is a lot of guys don't get this done because they think they have to do it through their doctor and then they think they have to talk to their doctor about you know, anything negative that shows up on it. And the other thing is most guys just don't want to know about the negative things that show up on their blood test. They just don't even want to know that there are or aren't negatives, which most likely there are, especially if you haven't checked it in a long time because you're, you know, trying to keep your head in the sand about it. So that's what's up. Today is a very healthy day for me. Um, 
And we are officially on our TRT. This is day one. Um, I'm done taking my bulking cycle. I'm done bulking. We are backing off for the next two months. Our training is gonna stay the same. Our training's gonna stay hard. And we're gonna keep making progress there. But we are backing off on the anabolics. Uh, we are backing off on the carbs. We're gonna increase the protein a little bit. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna keep things going like that. Um, I imagine I'll probably be leaning out a little bit over the next couple months as we get closer to starting our cut. But we're going to be doing this today, and then, you know, we're going to be doing this exact same thing two months from now, uh, February 1st, at the very end of this kind of maintenance chill out phase. So I bought 20 minutes on my parking pass and there are 10 minutes left. Bought it as soon as I left my car. So from car to getting blood drawn to getting back to my car took 10 minutes. That's how little time this takes to do. 10 stinking minutes. I mean, of course you have drive time getting here and getting back home, but still like walking in and walking out 10 minutes, that's all it takes. Super easy. They don't even really like talk to you. They just, you know, you go in, you sign something, you sit down. She puts a, a tourniquet on your arm, finds a, finds a vein, sticks it, starts filling up the tubes, pulls it all out, puts a Band-Aid on it and says, all right, see you later. And that's it. So, all right, blood test is done. Now we just wait for the results to start coming in online. So as each test gets completed, they'll be submitted online to Ulta Labs and I will be able to see them. I'll get an email every single time one of those is updated and I'll be able to watch it all come in and we will see what we get. It'll, it'll all be done. Every All the results will come in within three days, but I'll probably get some before the end of the day. Probably some will start showing up tomorrow. Most of them probably tomorrow. So anyways, I'll fill you guys in as those come in. So bad news, guys. I got declined to get my blood drawn. Uh, because my hemoglobin was too high. Too high of hemoglobin. Damn it. Um, so that's a bad deal. Um, my hemoglobin, my iron, basically, was 19.9. And they won't take anybody past 19.2. So they said I could not, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, and they didn't really have a recommendation for me uh, on what to do. I only have one day, like I, I, I only have to wait one day before I can come back. So they were like, you can come back tomorrow and try again, I guess. Um, but I mean, I do know what I need to do because Number one, one reason that your hemoglobin goes high, your iron is high, is from using testosterone. Uh, that's part of it. High doses of testosterone raises your hemoglobin significantly. Um, the other thing uh, is eating red meat. Eating red meat, lots of heme iron, increases red blood cells, increases, increases hemoglobin. <sighs> And that is, uh, that's what happens. So, so now what? Well, um, something, so like the last time that I got my blood drawn five months ago, my hemoglobin was 17.4, I believe. And I did, I, I don't know, I just, I didn't think that it was going to be an issue. 
Um, that was the last thing on my mind that I thought I was going to have to deal with. And, um, and I just, I, I don't know. I just really wasn't sure if it was going to be elevated or not. So like one of the past health supplements that I used to use was IP6. IP6 is an iron chelator. It reduces iron. It reduces your hemoglobin by up to two or three points. So if I would have been on it, I would have been about a 16 or a 17. I haven't taken that since my last, since I ran out over my last TRT. I've got IP6 on the way, which is going to fix that whole issue, which is annoying, but I should have known that that was going to happen because, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it was uh, good to prove it to myself that that stuff was actually doing something, so... Um, yeah, guys, that's something we got to stay on top of. IP6, keep that in. Otherwise, your hemoglobin gets off the chart, which is not good because then we can't give blood. And giving blood helps reduce blood pressure. So that's what's up. That is pretty much all that I wanted to share with you guys today. So um, here is... Some footage of me training my client to end uh, end the day. Um, this uh, client, this is Joe. Uh, Joe is his primary goal is to learn how to do the Olympic lifts, so cleans and snatches. Those are what he's really interested in. We've been we've done this is our fourth session now. He had absolutely no idea how to do a clean or a snatch. He's still very new to it all. Um, so don't judge him too hard on, uh, his form and everything. We're, we're working on it day by day, step by step, breaking everything up into how to go about doing that. Um, but like I said, it's his fourth day and here you guys can just kind of get a quick rundown on how I go about doing a training session. Um, what that looks like. I mean, this probably doesn't look like much to a lot of you guys, but... This is what he wants to learn, and you got to give the client what they want at the end of the day. So that's what's up. That's what's going on with me. Tomorrow, tomorrow we are back on track, back on everything as far as our training goes, our diet goes. Today was not, you know, great for either. Didn't work out. Didn't have time for all of that in between everything, which is fine, you know. I mean... I'm not, uh, you know, you take a day off here and there, you take a week off here and there, you're not going to go backwards, you know, that's nothing to worry about. So anyways, that's what I got going tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys a full day of eating my new diet um, going forward. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss out on all of that. Remember, nobody cares, train harder, and I will see you all tomorrow. Yeah, really push those out so that they're like out of your toes. It'll just be 
up here on your, your knees. Um, and having your knees out and it makes your butt more, it gets warm. So, yeah, try to focus on that. That's really the only thing that I see. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> 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 really, like, it could be touching your shirt. Like, you know, like, it, it really doesn't have to be like that far away oh, so no. you, to get that. So like from here, you can still pop it pretty good instead of bringing it out that way. So like having it just so it's like barely not touching you is enough to drag your hips into it, rattle it up. So like when you come all the way down here with it as you're coming up, you want to be pulling it into this spot so that yeah, as soon, as soon as it's coming in here, that's when you're getting ready to jump to set it on up. And it's not that you even have to jump, because like my feet haven't left the floor yet. They're just sending it through, like my hips are just coming through to pop it up. So, yeah. You want to just think like it's, it's literally just your hips coming through and hitting far. And it's it's just that they're, they're sending up the bar. It's just like trying to push it out back. Oh. 